Good morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well. Oh, Caroline, I hear you cry. You finally had that bird's nest on top of your head sorted out. I have, and I can't tell you how much better it feels. So pleased with the colour and the cut. Um, today, I have for you, I'm hoping you can't, I've just washed up and I've got a big wet stain in the middle of my top. And I'm just making sure it's out of shot. So not a good look to come on the camera with a big mark across the middle is it i think it is i think i'm all right i can crop it if it's not um anyway today i have a few more evening dresses to show you another three evening dresses now this is sort of the second half of the haul that i did a couple of weeks ago with ever pretty these dresses have been sent to me um and if you remember, anyone who watched that last video with the evening dresses, you will recall that they were all too big and I said if I was ordering again, I would order a size down. Now I did go back to the company at that, at the time I made the video, the part, the second parcel hadn't been sent out and I said, would you be able to change the size and send a size smaller? And unfortunately they couldn't, the order had already been processed. So I am fully anticipating that these dresses are going to be too big. However, one of them is a very slim silhouette, so perhaps it might not be, we shall see. Um, but yeah, that was unfortunate because I, I went by these measurements on the website, um, the Ever Pretty website, and I would definitely say if you're going to order something, size down one from the measurements if you're plus size. Um, that, that was my feeling anyway. Anyway, all that aside, I've got three lovely evening dresses to show you. Um, one of them very out of my comfort zone, as I say, a very slim silhouette, which if you know anything about me, you know that I'm <laughs> quite keen on looser, flowier clothing, hence today's top. This one is from Pure Plus, by the way, um, just because I, I very often get asked, what, where was that top from that you were wearing at the beginning of the video? It's from Pure Plus. Um, I'll pop a link in. I also have a discount code from them and it was gifted for another video, so I need to say that as well. Right, without further ado, let's get into the, oh, I know what I've got to say. I've got to say I am five foot three. I am a UK size 18 to 20 on the bottom and 22 to 24 on the top. Um, UK brands are usually by a size 20 in a dress. Um, I will tell you what sizes these are. They're, they're some, some ridiculous sounding size 26. I'm definitely not a 26, I don't think. Or are they a 24? I don't know. Let's get right. into it. First dress today is this dusky pink one. It has a sort of glittery, a silver thread through the fabric and it's sort of ruched on the top bit here and then not ruched on the bottom so it looks sort of like two different two different textures of fabric then you've got the satin waistband the sort of angel sleeve it's got a v front v v neck even and a v back not too low zip at the back feels lovely quality this is in a size 26 uk this says this is a full length dress i've said before that I don't, I don't particularly like myself in full length dresses. As a plus size, quite short person, I feel very often that um, full length dresses drown me. However, I thought it would be nice to show you um, a couple of full length options because last time I showed you all sort of almost full length, but not quite, in fact they weren't. One was quite short, wasn't it? Regardless, I thought we'd go with a couple of full length options just to show you a wider range of what they have. Right, let's try it on. Okay, right. Interestingly, the sizing feels a little bit better on this one. More, um, not not as big as the ones the other day felt. So that's quite good. Although strange in terms of their sizing not being, you know, matching all the way through. Um, I've got a little bit of an issue with this. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but you've got this lovely glittery top layer and it's quite shit and the lining underneath is one of those sort of clingy nylon-y affairs and it's slightly it doesn't sit flat there and you can see wrinkles i don't know if you can see them i can see them from this distance in the mirror although obviously i'm being a little bit picky with that um you know you want your evening wear to be correct and, and comfortable and not have unnecessary wrinkles don't you? I can definitely see a wrinkle around there even though I've smoothed it down several times underneath I like the top part it doesn't feel it feels good 
fit on the shoulders, the shoulder seams are in the right place. I like the white band, sorry, the waistband, it cinches me in on my actual waist, which is great. A little bit busty, but nothing that a pin wouldn't um, deal with there. Lengthwise, it's too long, but with maxi dresses, I very often have that problem. Let me just do it all the way round for you. You can see the V-back is not too low to... Um, you show my bra strap at the back, so that's good. Um, I like the colour. I think the colour and the fabric, I think the fabric's really pretty with the silver running through it. It's just a really nice... I um, don't think my bum looks great, actually, in this one. But, yeah. Um, I, I, as I said earlier, I don't particularly like myself. I feel like, in, in long dresses, I feel like I get drowned. It was purely for the purposes of showing you a variety of what they have but yeah there's a lot to like about this and certainly fit wise although it's the same size as the three I tried on in the last video the fit is much better on this one I would say right let's see what's next now this one is a very similar style to the black lace one I showed you in the last video this is sort of a deep rich wine red lace dress that comes up at the front um, similar sort of bodice to the last one apart from it hasn't got the V back it's just got the V front and the sort of angel sleeves um, this as I said comes shorter at the front which I always feel is a better look on me um, I really like the colour I think it's a really nice colour a bit of a change from black which I tried in the lace last time and um, yeah let's give it a go just need to add as well on the label of this it says UK 20 4XL UK 20. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't order a 20, but let's see. This one is a little small. Um, I said the top half is definitely small. On the shoulders, it's fine, but not quite enough fabric on the bust. I've got a camisole on, as you can see, but without that, that would be pretty busty. Um, it could be pinned. But I think even so, it would feel a little bit on the busty side. Um, just need to angle you a little bit further down. Um, okay, other than, other than the fact it's a little small, um, I think it's quite a nice dress. I like it. I love the fact it comes up at the front, um, so you've got a bit of leg to balance out your height. Gives me the, I feel like it gives me the illusion of being taller than um, a full length dress which I like and it's got I mentioned this before with the black one last time it's got this cut out on the lining so the lining goes long at the back but is cut out at the front so when you walk you see a little bit more leg through the lace which I think is a really clever way of um, ju just making elongating your legs and therefore elongating your body a little bit and also quite nice um, little design isn't it to see a little bit more of your leg I guess um, I wish I'd got it in a size up from this because bust wise there is definitely not quite enough fabric there but other than that I feel like this is a good one I think they must have sent me the wrong size there in this one unfortunately but never mind doesn't matter it gives you an idea of what is available doesn't it right on to the final one which is very very definitely out of my comfort zone okay here's the final one it is this beautiful midnight blue it's almost like a column type dress with a cape overlay as you know definitely don't like my stomach being on show and i fear it might be in this dress but i wanted to try something that was a completely different style from what i would normally go for that's what these videos are all about isn't it me trying stuff that i wouldn't normally try and you seeing what's available and what it looks like on my the shape of my body and all of that stuff um yeah i'm excited but a little bit nervous to try this one i i love the design i think it's so pretty the whole cape scenario but not sure and it's got a very high split in the leg as well so i'm not sure how i'm going to feel about that and it's also on the side of my dodgy knee <laughs> typical that isn't it let me tell you what size i got this one in this one is a uk 28 allegedly 
Now that is not what you or I would call a UK 28, but as I said, I went by the measurements. Let's not get hung up on the numbers. So let's see how we get on. I think we found a winner of the day. I've surprised myself with this one. What do you reckon? I really quite like it. I do, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But um, that, that angle is not great. I don't like my stomach in that angle at all. Um, I actually think the back's all right because of the split in the cape. It's a good job my son's in the house for the weekend. He's um, he's having to do all my zips on, on and off today. Um, I do feel like the split goes a little bit high, a um, little bit higher than I would like. Had to hoik my shapewear up. Incidentally, talking of shapewear, top tip when you're going to comment on not necessarily a YouTube video but leaving what you think might be a helpful comment even to a friend or which says you should try some shapewear with that when you don't know whether the person you're addressing that helpful piece of advice to is wearing shapewear or not never a good idea unless you know definitely don't suggest it <laughs> Top tip for the day. Um, yeah, the, the split is too high for my liking, but I reckon I could sew it up a couple of inches and it would still be all right to walk in. I feel like there would still be enough give there, which would be good. I think I might be taking this on my cruise with me. It feels elegant, which is nice. In the nicest possible way, I don't generally ever feel very elegant. I, sometimes I feel nice, sometimes I feel nicely put together, but I don't ever feel elegant. I think as somebody of mature years, or getting on a bit, 50 plus, um, and plus size, I think it's hard to feel elegant. Um, I think it's probably hard for all of us to think of ourselves as elegant, but I feel quite elegant in this dress. So that's a bit of a win that I didn't expect to be a win today. Just let me take my high heels off because they're killing my toes before I come and finish this off. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed it. Um, the pink one I was never going to love because it was full length, but I just wanted to show you a full length option. Um, the red one I liked, but too busty and size too small I think unfortunately I don't know if there was an issue with the ordering or whether I misordered or what but um yeah this one despite the label saying it's a UK 28 did it say <laughs> ridiculously feels like it fits really nicely without being too super clingy and yeah I feel feel really nice in this one right that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I will put Ever Pretty's um, info and all the links and everything in the description box and also in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section. And I think I've got a discount code as well for them. So all that info will be down there. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.